Hi everybody, I'm John Fright and I'm here with my FS7. Uh, I get a lot of people asking what I've done to it to make it a bit more usable because there are a few things that out of the box aren't quite as well thought out perhaps or, or usable or you know people have had trouble with uh, as they go along in, in long-term use of this camera. So um, here's a couple of things I've done to make my life a bit easier. Um, the first thing is add this rod clamp on here. This is uh, a small rig part. Uh, it's, I think this is the 1910 small rig uh, NATO rail clamp to 50mm bar attachment there. There's a longer version which actually is, is, a, is a bit more useful but a bit more fiddly. So I've gone for the shorter one because most of the time I'm operating without the extension eyepiece. So having it a bit closer in there is fine. Um, for when I do need to do news style stuff and have the camera on my shoulder all the time and I need the uh, viewfinder on, uh, I've got this one which is the longer version. Um, slightly more fiddly because it's in two parts so this is one of Small Rig's little clamps uh, and then the longer NATO rail and that goes onto there. The existing Sony uh, viewfinder goes into this little clamp here handy attachment there, just goes straight into the small rig clamp. The advantage of this over the Sony one is that the NATO rail thing here is square, it's flat, it doesn't rotate like this. So we were finding when we put the camera on our shoulder that the viewfinder had a tendency to to rotate so you're, you weren't ever confident that your horizon was level because the monitor wasn't necessarily. So Got rid of that and replaced it with that for that reason. It also feels a bit more solid, I have to say, as well. Um, something else I've done is um, put this old bracket on here. This is simply uh, an old uh, flash bracket, I think. It's a piece of metal with two holes drilled in it and two uh, of these little screws through straight into the top of the FS7 there and straight into the, well, the bottom of the Shogun flame here. The reason it's, the Shogun Flame is upside down is because I want to get at the connections on the top. That's easy and that's great for your director or focus puller to look at on the side of the camera there. And you can easily have this on your shoulder in this configuration, um, which is, you know, the weight is all in the right place, nice and solid there, and you know, you're a focus puller or director can easily see what you're up to with the monitor on the side. Another thing I've done, which is probably the most significant out of all these, is this microphone holder. So, as many people have found, the original Sony microphone clamp had a tendency to just bend and break. These are all the pieces of that which I have removed, uh, and this all goes together in what seems like an insanely complicated arrangement to attach that otherwise very simple microphone clamp, which you can see I've added some a bit of rubber into to uh, fill it up to put this NTG2 in. Um, so what we've done here is take the original clamp, which is this bit, taken that all the pieces and attach this, which is a small rig 1549 uh, little clamp at the bottom. Uh, through, I thought I was going to need two nuts and bolts, but actually there's only one in there because the, the existing uh, little nodules there, bits of plastic, fit into the recess perfectly there and that is incredibly solid. What you have lost from this arrangement is a little bit of the uh, dampening separation, the little rubbery bit that helped to isolate the microphone from handling noise of the camera, um, but frankly I never found that as a problem anyway and the amount of time I'm actually using the top mic for first sound is almost never so all I wanted was a more solid connection. So with that attached you can see we've we've now got a beautiful solid clamp on there. Put the mic back in. The other nice thing about this is you can if you haven't got a map box on, you can mount the, mi the microphone upside down on here. So you get some, uh, the microphone ends up here, which is a lot lower and lower profile, smaller, smaller sort of footprint. And when you come to put the camera away, unscrew it. So the microphone there 
is still attached to the camera, nice and solid, but it's not poking up any higher than the existing handle, so it goes straight back in your box without anything up in the air to get knocked off or bent like the old bracket used to. So that's my, my favourite little amendment here. Uh, so that essentially is just a small rig 1549 rail clamp uh, with this little little mounting point underneath screwed straight in from the existing Sony microphone clamp. Those are just a few of the things I've done to my FS7 to generally improve the, the solidness of a couple of the existing uh, mounts on here and here. And uh, I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching.